All righty, baby. What's up, everybody? How we doing? How's everybody doing, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to the weekly beer and video live stream with Travel Man Dan. And today, well, this evening, it is 9 o'clock in Copenhagen, Denmark, where I am right now, coming to you live. And I think it's 12 p.m. It should be 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I go by California because that's where I spend most of my time living. But thank you for joining me. Got a lot of things to cover today. Um, this is my weekly beer and video review where I go ahead and recap the videos that came out the previous week. And I talk a little bit about the videos that are coming up all while reviewing and enjoying beer. That's right. I'm no stranger to it. I enjoy it. I thought it would be a fun way to go ahead and bring you up to date with what's going on at my channel and also slide in there with a little bit of, uh, you know, beer review. So, let's, uh, hey, Disco Turtle, what up, dude? All right. Hey, um, so here we go. Let's get started. Without further ado, today we're going to be reviewing a couple couple of Danish beers since I'm live in Denmark. So we're going to start off with this first one. Now I got to tell you, things may get a little cray cray today. I was pre-warned. Um, not only is this beer strong, but it is also of, well, it's a, uh, it's a little bit bigger and uh, we're going to try it and well, let's get into it. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the Albany IPA. Ooh, let's check it out. Pretty neat cover. It is IPA, stands for Indian Pal Al. For those of you that don't know, and Albany is a small town with a brewery in Denmark. So this alcohol is 5.7%. So it's touching up there. It's getting heavy. Not as um, strong as last week's. If you haven't seen that one, I suggest you go ahead and check that out. Um, so right away, a little crack. Whew, I can smell the hops already. And here we go. Let's give the first little swig to the Danish beer, Albany IPA. And we're here live in Denmark. Uh, Wow, Whew, that is strong. Wow, that is one hoppy beer. Whew. Man, this thing is layered with taste of a uh, crazy amount of hops. Um, if you don't like IPAs, then this probably isn't the one for you because right away, I mean, I smelled it when I cracked the can. So we got a little bit of a bigger uh, job to do. Let me go ahead and get into it again. Oh, man, that is strong, strong stuff. All right, well, I will say this. If you're in America, I'm not condoning drinking. Um, the drinking age in America is 21, so make sure that you are uh, able to drink and legal to drink if you watch these videos and you want to go ahead and try something else. Here in Denmark, the drinking age for drinking beer is 16. Uh, hard liquor is 18. Isn't that crazy? Um, so I just like to do it because it helps me uh, basically throw in a little live action and I love beer. So first case, I don't know, strong hoppy taste, um, definitely a creamy, uh, almost like a malt or a stout. And it's definitely strong because the first two chugs I can already feel kicking in. And if you know a good IPA, We'll definitely do that for you. There's the burp. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, not bad. I'll finish the can and then I'll give you my rating on how I feel about it. Let's get into what we want to talk about. So if you haven't seen my videos this previous week, check them out, man. Pretty, pretty cool. I put out there last Wednesday, the weekly Travel Man Dan video. It was on the Seven Magic Mountains. And what it is, is an art display uh, about 20 minutes outside of Las Vegas in a town called Jean, just off the Interstate 15. Now, I took this magic globe here, in case you've never seen the magic globe. So I just plopped up there. But if, uh, if you are going to Vegas, if you live in Vegas, if you're ever around Vegas, just take the short time to uh, first watch my video and then go ahead and check out the sculpture. 
It's uh, about seven, uh, well, it's called Seven Magic Mountains for a reason, but it, I'm not sure how many total rocks are, and what they are is they're stacked up on top of each other, and they make these really cool pillars out of them. They're all these really vibrant colors that are bursting with color, bursting with colors, and um, definitely against the desert background is something to see. It's kind of neat. It's weird. It's unusual. I like that kind of stuff. Um, if you haven't already, I suggest you check out that video. Man, the hops are so strong in this beer. I feel like I'm drinking pine trees. Um, one of the things about last week's video on the Seven Magic Mountains, if you've seen it or if you're about to see it, is you'll see me walking around and I go ahead and I find a piece of trash. Now the trash was uh, kind of like an omen or a symbolic uh, label to me because on that trash, well, I have it right here. Check it out. It was this thing of Kleenex. And if you read that message right there, it says, believe in yourself. And that's a powerful message. For any of you that are out here watching it or you know me, um, you know how powerful uh, belief in yourself is. That's kind of my mantra, my motto, if you will, is believe in yourself, work hard, and don't give up. And, well, I was strolling around through the desert at the Magic Mountains, and I bumped into this Kleenex, and if I see trash out in the nature, I go ahead and pick it up. But when I pick this up, I saw the message and, well, maybe uh, it wasn't trash. Maybe somebody left it for me. Disco Turtle, the coloring book is coming along great. The artist just sent me the sixth, sixth um, picture. So we're looking good. We're looking strong. Should have it out by this fall. He got a little busy, so things got slowed down. But thank you for asking. Now, let's get into last week's Food Friday, which was probably one of my top five favorite foods, and that is hot dogs. I went and visited the famous Pink's Hot Dogs on La Brea and Melrose, and holy moly, if you've seen this video or you want to see a hot dog that is insane, I had two of them. I have one that's called The Lord of the Rings, and the other one is called Planet Hollywood, and well... Planet Hollywood, first of all, was a Polish sausage. And it was a giant sausage link with nacho cheese and bacon and all kinds of scrumptious little tasty things inside of it, like fried onions and uh, the sausages were great. But the, the killer one was called the Lord of the Rings. And what it was was a stretch hot dog, so it was longer than the bun. And you'll go ahead and see that and watch that video. And on top of it, layered our crispy, crunchy, amazing onion rings. Drizzled all over it is barbecue sauce. And um, it's quite a fun episode. I get shit all, stuff all over my face. And um, yeah, you should, uh, you should check it out if you get a chance to. That was last week's Food Friday. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and we're about to finish this mosaic. Not bad, not bad. All right. First impression, super strong beer. You can smell the hops the minute you crack the can. Um, that's good for me. Not good for a lot of people. Definitely has a creamy taste to it. It's got a little bit of an afterbite to it. Um, can kind of taste some kind of fruity, uh, piney taste. But overall, not a bad beer. I'm going to go ahead and give this Danish beer a 7. That's right, a seven. And, um, well, the reason, hey, hey, I'm seeing my Instagram. Somebody's watching Seven Magic Mountains right now. Luis, thank you so much. I appreciate you hitting me up. Now I'm live. So, um, yeah, the Mosaic IPA, excuse me, gets a seven. All right. Now, let me get into a little bit about where I am. I'm in Denmark right now, Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, the next couple of videos that come out, we're all in California, and so you'll have a chance to enjoy some more of Los Angeles and the surrounding parts that I go and visit and the foods that I eat. But come August, it's going to be all Denmark, baby. Oh, my gosh. What an unbelievable time I've had. Um, first impression on Denmark, beautiful city. Beautiful city here in Copenhagen. I mean, just the buildings, the architecture, the color, uh, the people are vibrant. I've caught probably the best week 
uh, you could possibly ever have here in Denmark. It's been sunny and about 80 degrees every day. So the sun <laughs> doesn't go down until about 11, 1130 and is back up around five. So you don't sleep much. That's, uh, that's great when you're a tourist because I've been up every day at 5.30, I exercise, I, I come back, I, I lay down for about an hour, go back out, hustle, shoot a bunch of videos. It's been wonderful. Strangely enough, the one thing that I've seen, uh, the women smoke more than the men here. Uh, that's a uh, first impression. Um, trying to think of some other thing. Uh, everybody speaks, everybody speaks English. And I'm telling you, it, like that is... A very convenient thing. One thing that they they do have here is um, they keep their culture and they keep their language by everything and the outside is written. So things like the subway, things like the bus system, uh, stores, yada, you know, those are all written in Danish. So it can be a little hard, but everybody does speak English and the people are absolutely adorable. Nicest people. Uh, they're kind, they're genuine, you know, you go down the list of good things and, and Dan that's what the Danish people are. I mean, they've been very welcoming. Um, just love my time here. And throughout the next couple of weeks, uh, you're going to see really cool videos. Uh, I went to a lot of fun places, saw some cool art things, and I'm not going to elaborate on too much because I don't want to give it away, but I saw some really badass things over here. So hope you get to see those videos too. Now, Let's hustle along and let's get into the second beer. Oh, one other thing. If any of my APSA friends over at the museum happen to check out this live stream, look what I got you guys. All right, a little Danish candy. All right, these are called caramel lekatas and they have like uh, licorice and caramel in them. So that's for you, the squad over at the museum. But now let's get into the second beer. Now we're gonna try this one. And this is called Thai Okolaskik. And check it out, Humale. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if I pronounced it. I probably butchered the hell out of the name, but um, the guy at the store told me it was really good. It is also very strong. I mean, registering at about five and eight, but doesn't meet the Travel Man Dan strong scale. So it's just touching there. Strong scale for me is 6.0. Um, but it is a Pilsner. Uh, it is from this town, I believe, or wait, okay. This was the company, Albina. <laughs> Sorry about that. And this was the town, Thigh. Get a little scramble up, you know what I mean? And so let's give it a swirl. All right, not bad, not bad. Tasty Pilsner taste, um, not as strong and rich in hops, definitely refreshing, not as light as some of uh, your light beers, but definitely a good strong Pilsner taste, uh, mid-grade medium, I'd have to say, but not bad, not bad at all. This one is uh, pretty good. All right, so let me get into the videos that are coming up this week. And then we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rate this beer, and I'm gonna wrap things up. This week, if you're looking to go out and exercise, you wanna get a little, uh, well, you don't wanna spend time in the gym, but you wanna get a little hiking in, Runyon Canyon, uh, Hollywood sign you've already did multiple times, a little too crowded. This week's video, this week's Wednesday's video is called the Piuma Trail and it's part of Malibu Creek State Park. It's just off the Lost Virginis Road if you wanna find it. But if you watch this video, you're gonna see me go ahead and hike in it. It's pretty awesome. I've been going there for years. Um, it's a really fun hike. And well, I did start off early in the morning and I caught that weird week of weather in Los Angeles where that fog, the marine layer, whatever you want to call it, just layered in there. And normally when you get to the top of Puma Trail, you can see like the Santa Monica mountain range on one side and then you can see a little bit of beach, maybe even all the way up to Santa Barbara in some points and all the way definitely down to Santa Monica. Didn't see nothing. <laughs> On my hike, it was crazy, man. It was like covered in fog. It was like straight up Yoda, Dagobah system, nuts. But um, still a fun hike. 
People love to hike in Los Angeles. If you're visiting Los Angeles and you check out my video, it'll show you one of the roads less traveled hikes, which is pretty cool. And if you're not doing anything, it probably would take you four or five hours, including the drive. Um, but that's what brings us to the next video. Uh, that's the Food Friday that's coming out this week. And I suggest you, um, you, that's good. It's getting even better. I suggest you go ahead and piggyback. If you watch both these videos, you can do the exact same thing that I did. And what you do is after you come down from hiking, you just drive back, keep going uh, the same road that you came in on Las Virginis and keep going west on it. And eventually you're going to hit PCH. That's Pacific Coast Highway 1 road. And then you make a right and then you go up. Geez, I don't know, not too long, 10, 15 minutes at the most. And on your right-hand side is the Food Friday that I did, and it is this amazing place called Malibu Seafood Company. Malibu Seafood Company. I've been coming there, I've been going there <laughs> since I first got to Los Angeles, and it's just like a cool, like, it looks like a lifeguard shack, and it's got some of the freshest fish, um, I love fried fish. I love fish fries. Growing up in Buffalo, New York, it was what we did on Fridays. But I've never had it that fresh. When you go to Malibu Seafood Company, you will taste some of the freshest fish that you've ever tried. So I suggest you go one, watch the videos, and then two, go out to Piuma Trail, and then uh, piggyback it and hit up Malibu Seafood Company. And you can go ahead and watch those videos in this coming week coming up. Now, let me slug this down. All right, so that is going to wrap it up. It's good, it's not bad. I like it. It's um, it's got a strong taste to it. Uh, leaves you with that taste like a full beer. Uh, not too happy, light, refreshing, but not uh, not so watery light. It's just the amount of beer taste that you're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and rank it right up there with uh, seven. That's right. I'm giving it a seven. These two beers together. Denmark, you've done your country proud, okay? Now, throughout my Denmark videos, if you guys are wondering, why didn't I do a, a Carlsberg? That's because, well, throughout my videos, you're gonna see a lot of Carlsberg. So I decided to do these unusual beers from Denmark, but they both rank in there at a seven, and well, yeah, they're pretty dang good. I would definitely suggest trying them out if you can find them in one of your hippier, trendier, like grocery stores, beer stores, you might wanna give them a whirl. Guys, that's gonna do it for this live video. I'm off tomorrow, well, I'm off in a few hours to Latvia, that's right, Riga, Latvia. So, I'm heading out to the woods, I'm gonna do a little camp out there, I'm gonna have a good time, so I'll get back to you once again, these videos, these live videos, they come out every Sunday. I always go ahead and post on my Instagram story, Facebook story, when I'm going live Sunday. Just expect it, I'll be there. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Hope you learned something cool and interesting about beer or just about the videos coming up. Maybe you were inspired to watch some of my videos, pass them along, share them, do whatever you wanna do with them. For the person that hung with me, is that you, Disco Turtle? Give me a thumbs up if that's with you, because you've been with me the whole time. Is that you, Disco? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's been with me the entire time, and I just want to say thanks. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, it starts with one, and uh, you know, you gotta go to, you gotta have one before you get to two, that sort of thing. So thank you, whoever hung with me. I appreciate those of you who have checked in and watched this live video. I'm still figuring out the whole YouTube thing as far as like where the camera angled. Sometimes, I, because I do the live things from my phone, never know where I'm gonna be. But if this video comes out sideways, I will fix it, don't worry. Um, but right now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'm Travel Man Dan. Remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it.